it is time for yet another exciting episode of How's the Market? This is where I get you up to date of what's happening in the housing market here in Brevard County and the Cocoa Beach area. And if you stick around to the end, we'll be going over what's happening with the first quarter in real estate and also some trends that I think will be affecting our housing market. So stick around. So for all of Brevard County, we ended the month of March with active inventory at 834 properties. We sold 1,452 properties, which gives us about a half month supply of homes on the market. Average sales price was 395 compared to 319,000 last year with the median sales price of $330,000 compared to $268,000 in 2021. List to sell ratio is 98%. Average price per square foot is $228, and the average days on market is just under 20 days. There were 898 properties selling in seven days or less. We had 36 properties sell for over a million dollars, which the highest price one was in South Merritt Island of 2.8 million bucks. And for the county, we had 68 homes sell for under $200,000. So that's what's happening for all of Brevard County. Let's look at Cocoa Beach starting with the condo market. Currently we have 38 condos active for sale ranging in price from 139,000 for a one bedroom at the plaza up to 1.99 million at the surf new construction in downtown Cocoa Beach. We sold 58 condos for March ranging in price for 135,000 for a studio in Genie by the Sea in Cape Canaveral to over a million dollars for the Meridian just north of the pier. On supply is at 0.65, so almost three weeks. Uh, average condo sales price was $369,000 versus 317,000 in 2021. Median sales price was $301,000 compared to $279,000 in 2021, and our average price per square foot was $309. Average days on market, just over 16 days, and we had nine condos selling for under $200,000. Uh, the best selling complexes were tied with three each, Hidden Harbor in Cape Canaveral and Emerald by the Sea in Cocoa Beach on the ocean. On to the single family homes in Cocoa Beach. Right now we have 21 active homes for sale, ranging in price from 659,000 up to 1.85 million bucks. We had 13 homes sell for the month of March between 600,000 and 2.5 million, which puts us at a 1.61 month supply of homes for sale. Average sales price just over a million bucks compared to 760,000 in 2021. Median sales price of 680,000 compared to 695,000 in 2021. So that's a slight decrease in the median sales price. Average price per square foot, $436. Uh, average days on market, just over 23 days. We had zero home sell for under $500,000 with three homes selling for over a million bucks. So those are the numbers for the month of March for our housing market for all of Brevard County and the Cocoa Beach area. Let's look at the first quarter and see what kind of trends are happening. Now, if you turn on the news or do a quick Google search, the headlines are screaming that we're about to be, we're about to get into a market crash. I'm certainly not Nostradamus, but I do look at the MLS and study the numbers quite often. And here are some trends that I'm seeing with the first quarter. Let's first look at our active inventory. Compared to last year and even 2020, our active inventory is still exceptionally low. And until that number starts coming up, we should still be in a seller's market. Looking at the sales, actual closings that happened, sure we've had a very strong first quarter in 2022, but we're behind 2021, yet ahead of where things were at in 2020. Looking at our month supply of property for sale for the county, We've been at or below a one month supply since February of last year. And what I mean by the month supply, uh, it, the month supply determines what kind of market that we're in. If we're in a buyer's market, it's anything six months or over for supply of properties. A balanced market is between four to six months and a seller's market is anything four months or under. So in order to see changes for that, we need to see less sales, with and or more homes and properties coming on the market. So let's say our sales drop to a thousand sales a month, which we haven't seen since 2013. 
our inventory would have to rise to over 4,000 in order for it to shift from the seller's market that we're in into a balanced market with the four to six month supply of inventory. What we need is more properties coming on the market. If you look at the first quarter of 2022, we are barely ahead of 2021, which was significantly behind what happened in 2020. So why aren't we seeing more homes coming on the market? Really, with everything going on, you would think that it's a wonderful time, the perfect time for somebody to consider selling their property. But if they're living in their home and they need to move somewhere, a lot of sellers are wondering, are they gonna become homeless if they put their home on the market or are they gonna rush into a purchase and settle for a property that doesn't quite match or replace the one that they're currently living in? Really, the best scenario for a seller is either a, a second home, a vacation home, or maybe it's a rental property that they're just not using. Another option would be for the seller to qualify for their mortgage to purchase their next property without having to sell the current home that they're in. A bridge loan could be an option for you too to pull some of the equity out of your current home in order to help you purchase the next property. And there's also new lending options coming up with companies like Ribbon or Knock to help you purchase the next property, same as cash, and then you sell your other home after you close on the purchase. But what's actually gonna be changing our market, there, there's two things that I've been saying, once they happen, will definitely have an effect on our inventory. One is insurance rates will be going up, which could affect somebody's ability to purchase a home. And that's been happening for the last six to eight months here in Brevard County. And number two is seeing a rise in the interest rates. Just two months ago, rates were pretty common in the mid to high 3% range, and I'm seeing them now over 5% for the interest rate. This will definitely have an effect on some buyer's ability to purchase a home that they want. Last time we had a rate increase was in the fall of 2018, where it happened in October, and within the next couple months, we saw our inventory go from 3.7 months supply to over a five month supply. Granted, the rates did pull back down shortly after that, and we, were, we continued into our seller's market, but a higher interest rate does have an impact on things. For example, if the beginning of the year you talked to your lender and you wanted to, you qualified for a $400,000 mortgage, you were putting 20% down and your interest rate was 3.75, your monthly payment for principal interest taxes and insurance would be just under $1,900 a month. Fast forward to April, 2022 and the rates are 5%. The difference in that same scenario, your payment will now be over $2,100 a month, which is a $200 plus dollar increase in your monthly budget for the home. This could certainly have an impact on things. If you were stretching to afford an under $2,000 a month payment, and now you're looking at $2,100 or more a month to live in the same type of home, it'll change your buying habits. So bottom line, is our, is our housing market any different today than what it was two weeks ago? No, our inventory is still low, there's still locked activities, and we're seeing multiple offers. But with this higher interest rate, changes could happen pretty quickly, and that's why I study the MLS in our market every single day. And if you have questions about what this means to you, whether you're considering buying or selling, that's what I'm here for. I love answering questions from folks just like you, and I get these questions just about every day. So you can either call me, you can text me, you can comment below. If you're on any of these social media sites, you can send me a direct message there. However you like to communicate, I am great with. And since you stuck around this long, you probably like what you're hearing. If you haven't done so already, you should definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like this video, I'm also queuing up two more videos for you to watch next. My name is Eric Larkin with Real Brokers here on the Space Coast. I appreciate you tuning in, and I'll see you on the next show.